If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. Dear brothers and sisters, we offer this Mass for Mary Moriarty. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel, Jesus is inviting us to take care not only outside of us, but also inside of us, so that we can be in good relationship with God, our Father, and with others. But as you know, sometimes sin can destroy inside of us. Because of that, let us open to mind, call to mind our sin and open our heart to God's mercy and beg for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grateful fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who am telling you that if you have yourselves circumcised, <clears throat> circumcised Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. You are separated from Christ, you who are trying to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness for in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Let 
your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will walk at liberty because I seek your precepts. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will delight in your commands, which I love. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined a stable to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed watching before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is written, give alms. And behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, I think today all of us here, if we can be in the place of that Pharisee who invited Jesus to dine with him and Jesus getting in and just going on the table and start eating, we will react like that Pharisee. Especially today when everybody are aware of using the sanitizer of before doing everything. But Jesus didn't. He just went to the table and he started eating. Even in the church here, if someone gets in without using those sanitizer, everybody will be looking at him or it's at her. That was happening this last time. So, 
But don't think that, okay, Jesus didn't, so I don't need to sanitize my hands anymore following the example of Jesus. No. That is not what Jesus is teaching us today. Because more than a question of hygiene, but it is a question of religious ritual a question of ritual watching Jesus refused or omitted to perform a religious ritual because those Pharisees was considering that ritual as a religious one, as law even in the same level with the laws of Moses. But Jesus wants to teach us that it is more than a question of observance. Not only observing the law, but the law should transform us not only respecting the law so that other people can see us, but the law should be changed in our way of living our lives. Jesus took that opportunity to see, to, to teach to the Pharisees that we need to take care not only outside of us, but also inside, because the one God who created outside is also the one who created inside. But the Pharisees, they were just limited on outside, to be clean outside. How about inside? Jesus is teaching them to go beyond the simple observance of the law. And today, dear brothers and sisters, the same awareness we have of watching our hands every time to avoid to be healthy, that is, Jesus wants us to have, the same, to have the same awareness of avoiding sin because sin can destroy our soul. Sin can destroy our relationship with God and also with others. Like all the virus and today, COVID-19, like the virus can destroy our body. That's why we are watching our hands to avoid to be contaminated. The same way, we should have the same awareness to make, to clean inside our, our inside, to clean our soul. Our soul can be destroyed by the virus of sin. And Jesus is inviting us to be aware that the virus of sin is more powerful than, the vi than COVID-19 or all the virus that can destroy, destroy only the body, not the soul. But the virus of sin can destroy both the body and the soul. So that's why Jesus is inviting us not only to take care of outside of our body, but also to take care inside of us, our soul, our relationship with God, and also our relationship with others. 
in this Eucharist. May the Holy Spirit help us. May the Holy Spirit grant us the grace we need so that the awareness we have to take care of our outside of our body may also we have the same awareness of cleaning inside our, our, our body. As we know, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we need to take care of that temple outside and also inside. Dear brothers and sisters, let's now present our petition to God our Father for ourselves and for the entire world. For our leaders and teachers in the church, that the word of truth may be found in their mouths and the commands of God be in their minds and hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the conversion of those who are blinded to the evils of our day, that government leaders may respect the dignity of every human being so that we may be blessed with peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we who have been set free by Christ may never submit to the fla sa sla slavery of sin, but continue to grow into the fullness of our inheritance in Christ Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have need of prayer in a season of physical, emotional, or financial difficulty, that they may receive help from those whose faith is working through love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved departed ones, who through the Spirit, by faith, awaited the hope of righteousness on earth, that they may now be receiving its fullness in heaven, <clears throat> we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Mary Moriarty, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, our Father, Hear the petition we present to you in the name of Jesus, your Son, our Lord. May his mother, our mother Mary, intercede for the healing of the world as we pray. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, may my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our God and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your world through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will, and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bounds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have raised us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Sean our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Mary Moriarty, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and martyrs, with Saint Martha and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours 
now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you shall enter my room. As only said the word, and my soul shall be here.
prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. When the Lord appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.